Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQS English. My name is Pravin Mishra and in this video, we shall be discussing what do forensic experts do after a blast took place. So yes, we have seen how an explosion took place, a blast took place within an I-20 car inside Delhi's Red Fort area that claimed around more than 10 lives. And now we have seen that how immediately the area, immediately the forensics team reached there and how they started doing their investigation. So a curious question, what they do actually investigate? Only the debris and ashes are left. So how do they get the very important clues within, the, within that one particular site of explosion? The clues that basically provides a big vital source or the route towards the further, uh, further investigation of the crime. Right. So here we go with the questions that is always rolling up in our minds. So the first one, what is the primary job of the forensic experts in case of any kind of a blast or explosion? Question number two, how do they determine whether an explosion was intentional or accidental? Question number three, what are some of the tests they do conduct on the site? And question number four, to multiple divisions of forensic science laboratory teams, they do present their Okay, so let's go ahead and understand each and every element carefully. But the first thing that we must understand as UPSC CSC aspirants, that not everything shown over the media is correct, is right. Many of the times it's bona fide and many of the times it's malified as well. Right, so many of the times they do represent some irrelevant extraneous facts. And here is the information. Majority of the time, so it is worth noting that various media houses, they report that forensic members, they collect samples from the site. As you can see the term, which is partly correct or partly accurate only. Yes, the site of explosion provides valuable information or as you can see the term, wealth of information, but not exactly all the information. They just collect the samples, take it to the specified laboratories, go ahead with the proper equipment as well as the further technologies and then only they do conclude their reports, right? And so here comes in the Lockhart's principle. They do work on this principle only. Basically, it says that a criminal, whenever he or she goes to the criminal side, to the crime side, leaves something there. And whenever he or she leaves that one particular side, takes something from there. And this is where the forensics team and all the other investigations are based on. So as you can see, as per the principle, it states that a criminal will leave something at the scene and bring something when he arrives back. So both are equally important as evidence in forensics. Thus, there must be a sample linking the subject to the scene from which it could be possible to guess the intensity of the explosion the source and what kind of explosives were used. So guys, you have got a new term with yourself, the Locard's principle that basically disseminates this information and actually this expels this one particular misconception that there exists something known as perfect crime, right? Locard's principle says that there couldn't be anything known as perfect crime because whenever a criminal reaches one particular site of crime, he or she leaves something there. And whenever he or she leaves from there, they do bring with themselves something. And this, what is left there and what is taken from there is what the biggest source of evidence towards any one particular investigation is. And so here comes the question, what kind of tests are basically conducted by the forensic team? So you don't need to be the rocket scientist to understand the terms, just you need to have the terms, the knowledge with yourself so that you can counter the questions whenever it is asked in your prelims or as well as your mains examination. So as you can see, the first thing what they do, you might have seen into this crime thriller movies or web series, maybe. First thing is the photography. Obviously, that's a but obvious thing. So after gathering and analyzing the initial data, that is the photographs, okay, expert try to reconstruct the crime scene with the help of that photographs only. Okay, and for that sake, they have got two distinct technologies. The first one is known as the Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy, that is in short FTIR. And the enhanced version of the FTIR is Attenuated Total Reflectance, that is ATR FTIR. So these are the two terms whenever you encounter. Please remember these are the things which are used to recreate the crime scene. So FTIR, that is once again Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy and ATR FTIR, that is Attenuated Total Reflectance FTIR. 
So, okay. So, in these tests, forensic experts, they do analyze the spectrum of the absorbed light. Remember, spectrum of what? The absorbed light. And with the help of which they find out how the collected samples, they do interact with the infrared light. So, simply speaking, how much intensity was there? How much destruction was caused on the particles? So with this, they help uh, with the help of this, they do analyze that the explosion was intentional or maybe accidental. So what what basically happens further? So as you can see, the chemical composition of the explosives it is it is detected using a separate equipment that is known as SRM. Simply speaking, specific Raman spectroscopy. And with the help of this, advanced scanning electron microscopy, that is SEM, is used to analyze the morphology of the fragments found after the blast. Okay, so morphology of the fragments, basically what is left, okay, from where it could have came and where it could have gone if the intention was more up ahead, right? And the next thing, energy dispersive X-ray, that is in short EDX. So it is a technique that is used for fundamental analysis of the residues okay and finally scientists also use thermal analysis to determine information about explosions such as chemical activity and the environmental stability after the chemical activity right so guys you have got the terms with yourself remember the first thing that you have got it is the FTR okay FTIR sorry that is Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy and then you have got the ATR FTIR and then further you have got the EDX and what's that energy dispersive x-ray that how much energy was dispersed how much heat was basically dispersed okay and then with all of these things they come to provide the answers of these three major questions as in the fire how it spread how far it spread and what was the total loss casualties or the damage caused by the fire okay so additionally the fire is the most important factor and then they do conclude the three questions they do answer the three questions as in once again how it spread how far it spread and the damage or the destruction caused by the fire Okay, and so the most important paragraph is here with us. That's why experts use laser-based scene mapping. So when they reconstruct the scene, they use the laser technology for the mapping of the scene so that they go ahead with the flashpoint testing. Till how long the fire was captured by the infrared lights. Okay, so they do try to determine the source of the fire and the presence of any combustion material that caused it to spread so much whether it was ammonium, whether it was RDX or whether it was any other XYZ explosives. Okay, and this brings us to the most important discussion of the video. It is here. In the case of the organized crime, okay, like explosion through cars, the biggest investigation is the engine number of the car as well as the chases number of the cars. Okay, chases number, what is chases? Chases is basically the box within which all the important elements, all the important machines of the car is placed in. Okay, so basically what it is, it is simply like a box. So here we have got the engine. Okay, here we have got all the other XYZ stuff. Okay, the uh, fuel pump, the power generator, the uh, belt of the, uh, what we say, uh, gear system and so on, right? So this is all fit within a box and this box is known as what? chases okay so the engine number as well as chases number okay and for this matter uh, and for this they do go ahead with a separate technology that is known as thermochemical examination and for which the scientific term is etching okay so with this they do analyze whether the chases number was changed or not whether the engine was changed or not okay so simply so what we have here the engine number and the chases number that is the metal frame of the vehicle onto which the parts are fit and so the number of the cars are changed before they are used for the crime purpose okay so for this we have got a technology a technique basically not technology a technique that is known as etching okay so typically the investigating agency employs a forensic physicist for this purpose and moreover the DNA analysis is the final punch 
of the investigation to inform the aggrieved families right so whatever happens whether it is an explosion out of intention or an explosion out of accident the families they do suffer and so in order to provide the families with the accurate information that whether the dead body found is your kin or not the biggest thing is the dna right everyone and so you must understand that in order to protect your nation the steel frame of india the bureaucracy see our soldiers they are there at the borders and they are protecting us with the utmost heroism their valor their bravery is something that can't be represented in words but we are fighting a two and a half front war not just from the west and the east but within the country itself there are sleeper cells of many terrorist organizations and a bureaucratic machinery a strong bureaucratic machinery a strong police machinery is needed to eliminate such idiots from the nation and so for that you the youth of the nation should join the steel frame of india as stated by sardar vallabhbhai patel exactly on 21st of april 1947 when he was addressing the first batch of ics probationers of independent india independence was couple of months more to be arrive right but yes our probationer officers were ready to serve the nation and so you should be also ready for that and you know it very well when it comes to this conversion of your dream into reality from your prelims to mains to interview you have got one name that is a study iq and so for that if you are looking forward for 2026 year of examination don't worry guys it is late but not that late if you want to start you can start with our sip that is success in prelims program okay and guys remember that sip that program is on sale right now as you can see okay so please guys remember the success in prelims program 250 plus hours of live lectures will be given to you along with that 75 plus test series will be given to you as well and if you are looking forward for 2027 year of examination remember the batches are commencing from 15th of november and for them sale is live and i'm giving you the trick how to enroll yourself in the batches in the resolution plus batches which what we call them okay with the highest maximum possible discount so you can use this promo code that is also scrolling down your screens that is prv life and with the help of this promo code you will be able to enjoy the maximum discount on your subscription whether for 2027 or even for 2028 the batches are commencing from 15th of november but guys remember the promo code without this you won't be able to enjoy the discount okay so save your money or maybe your parent is half earned money uh, sorry means like hard worked earned money right so please go ahead and enjoy this promo code prv live and with this you can avail the subscription in the cheapest uh, amount what you can say right everyone and yes please do hit the subscribe button of the channel study iqs english and never miss any update from it and in case you wish to connect with me for all the class links notes pdfs quizzes etc here <coughs> here is the qr code of my telegram channel okay that is with the name praveen underscore study iq you can simply scan and connect or you can just go on the search bar and type the channel name praveen underscore study iq and you can also join me on my instagram that is with the username praveen mishra underscore 2107 right everyone but please do not forget to hit the subscribe button of the channel and stay updated with it thank you so much for joining i hope the uh, concept is clear that what do forensic experts they do after a blast had taken place right everyone so thank you so much once again bye bye good day take care keep studying well jai hind